housing and health care are inexorably tied together in the United States. The vast majority of U.S. bankruptcies are caused by health care bills. Bankruptcy often leads to eviction and subsequent homelessness. At the same time, homeless individuals suffer from illnesses at three to six times the rate experienced by others, with higher death rates and a dramatically lower life expectancy. Developing sufficient housing for everyone is crucial, but having adequate housing is just as important. James Baldwin famously wrote, do I really want to be integrated into a burning house? If you house individuals in neighborhoods without essential quality of life resources, can these people really be successful? Unfortunately, too many affordable or low-income communities are food, health care, or even education deserts. Of course, it's great that these individuals now are housed, but how can they develop and maintain a healthy lifestyle without access to fresh food and health care? Low-quality housing itself can be dangerous. Inadequate housing often has safety concerns that contribute to chronic health issues, such as poor air quality, lead paint, mold, animal droppings. This only perpetuates the cycle of health issues and homelessness. The housing crisis is a cyclical issue that continues to persist and has never been more important to combat it with affordable and adequate housing that won't just house these families in needs, but will keep them safe and healthy and give them the opportunity to thrive. 